Talking about Saudi Arabia, has returned the endangered Arabian oryx to the desert of Neom for the first time after a century. With us now is Dr. Tal Pawak, an expert on oryx. Hello, good evening, and thank you very much for joining us. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Well, first, uh, tell us about this oryx, uh, this um, kind of very beautiful animal. So uh, the Arabian oryx were uh, abundant in the Arabian Peninsula, uh, in Saudi Arabia and also in Israel, uh, and they went extinct uh, in the uh, in 19th century. But uh, at the end, uh, in the middle of the 20th century, they were extinct completely from the entire region and were conserved only in, uh, in zoos and breeding corps. And uh, since uh, the 1960s, 1980s of the last century, they started uh, reintroducing uh, the oryx back into those uh, natural ranges. And uh, we have a reintroduction program here in Israel. And of course, uh, now Saudi Arabia has a reintroduction program. And there's also several in other countries uh, around the region, uh, in Oman, uh, in the uh, United Emirates. And uh, it's very exciting to see a new reintroduction program coming up in the region. Okay, yeah. why are the Saudis uh, bringing them back, actually? Well, there were a lot of animals that were extinct, and uh, oryx is one of them. Uh, biodiversity is really important. You need to have a variety of species in the region uh, to enable to uh, have a very sustainable ecosystem. Oryx, for example, are very important for the germination of acacia trees. Acacia trees are a prominent desert tree, which is a keystone species in the desert. And without oryx, you basically lose a lot of the germination function. So I hope now uh, the oryx will be able to add that function into the ecosystem in Neon. Yeah, let's hope so. Um, are there any other species that maybe um, it's time to bring them back? Well, there are several species that went extinct. I, I saw that they reintroduced gazelles as well and uh, ibex. Uh, we in Israel reintroduced the wild ass and the uh, uh, Arabian oryx, and we also reintroduced in other species in the north. Uh, the more diverse the biodiversity is, the more uh, sustainable the ecosystem will be. So, of course, if you can uh, reintroduce more species, that is important. The only thing is that you, when we to do the species, we actually we need to see that the reason for the extinctions no, no longer exists. Meaning, if uh, in the case of the oryx, it was hunting, they need to be released in an area that hunting is prohibited. Uh, prohibited uh, sorry, hunting is, uh, is not yeah. allowed. Yeah, yeah. Then, and of course, it's in force. So. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it will happen there as well. Yeah, we need to protect them, obviously. Dr. Tal Pollock, thank you very much.